I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Thursday, July 25th. It is set today by Tramp. Let's see what Tramp has for us. Uh, one's fretted over time, cautious Craig in bits. Well, certainly cautious Craig in bits sounds like an anagram, maybe with a T for time. I'm thinking the definition is one's fretted, and it's going to be some kind of guitar which has frets. Uh, not a leg. Oh, well, with cautious, it must be acoustic. Uh, let's see. Yeah, cautious Craig has one T, and we get the other one from time. Ooh, well, that gives us some nice uh, starting letters for these downs. Skilled champ, sliced shot, taking on whole oh, 12 letters. Oh my goodness. Well, shot can be an anagram indicator. So I'm wondering if it's an anagram of champ sliced. That gives us 11. And then um, whole, is that abbreviated to H somewhere? Oh, maybe it's simply an O. We've seen an O clued as a a bagel or a donut, a ball, of course, and lots of other things besides. Um, I think it's too long for me to bother with the anagram helper. I'm not seeing champ sliced with possibly an O, and it's going to mean... Oh, uh, I do actually see something. I thought it's probably going to end in ED. Uh, accomplished. There we go. So, yeah, champ sliced doesn't have an O, so that must be coming from whole. Excellent. So, uh, getting the top row and the left row surely uh, is a good portent for today. All right, how about over bog? Backside of addict gets injected many times. Well, we start with a no, so I'm wondering if that is for over. And then we have a three-letter word, maybe, for bog. And then the backside of addict, of course, would be T. But that means the definition would be gets injected many times. Oh, no, maybe the... Um, yeah, so I think it actually it might be just many times. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking the many times would be often. So over. Ah, the bog is fen. They want us, of course, to think bog as in toilet, but it's bog as in marshy ground. And the word bog, by the way, comes from Gaelic, Scots Gaelic, Irish Gaelic. We have... Uh, uh, of that word for soft. And so by application, I suppose, then it becomes a bog, boggy area. All right, and we put the T gets injected. All right. How about small footwear? They might be hurting. I presume the S is for small and then a an eight-letter word for footwear. And it's something that might be hurting. Is that hurting physically or hurting? Oh, it could be people who are hurting, like uh, sadists or uh, torturers or something. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably the most likely breakdown. Unless it's small of short footwear and then something for they might be, but I can't think of a word for that. And then the definition is simply hurting. No. How about cool cheese at front of fridge quickly? Well, cool, I'm thinking, is going to be in. If you're in, you're cool. Uh, the cheese we probably see most often is brie. And the front of fridge is an F, and in brief would be quickly. Put on tie, not wanting, 
ultimately to go out. Ooh, I'm not even sure where the definition is for this one. It could be uh, put on. It could be put on tie. No, I don't think so. Or it could be to go out. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing it. How about Victor spilling wife's secret? Oh, well, Victor is usually a V. Spilling wife? An anagram of wife? I don't think so, with a V. Oh, no, I'm not seeing anything with that. And then the definition would be secret. Oh, yeah, and I think we've had similar wordplay before where the word inner is referred to as secret. It's not a connection I would have made until I started doing the cryptic, but I'm thinking it is inner in this case too, and a victor is a winner, and it loses its W, spilling wife, and you get your inner for secret. All right, forever, restricting grassland for walks. I think walks is going to be the definition. And we're probably going to have a word for forever that goes around. Oh, what's that? Grassland. Ah, prairie, of course, or um, a dale oh, or a lee, L-E-A. Isn't that a grassland, a pasture? But what's a word for walks? Like ambu ambulations, is that a word? Um, <laughs> no, I'm not getting it. Uh, so let's, well, let's try getting this long one in the downs and then we'll go back to the acrosses. DJ is one equalizing deck. Uh, that's a good surface. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing to do with a music DJ. DJ can be a dinner jacket. Oh, I think it can be a judge as well. Yeah, is it a district? No, that's eight letters. District judge, something. Uh, but what is one... Equalizing. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, no, not seeing it. All right, back to the acrosses. Uh, supply food. Well, with the C and the T, I'm thinking that must be cater. Uh, in college would be C. And a diner is an eater, but without its starter is just a, oops, A-T-E-R. All right. Attracted to men are women tickling in a way that's cruel. Well, it could be cruel. Oh, attracted to men or women, I think, is going to be by. Um, and then tickling in a way, oh, maybe... Um, we anagram in a way to get something for that's cr for something that's cruel, but in a way again doesn't seem like something we can we can anagram. I'm gonna pause and uh, sip my fizzy water and <laughs> I'm living the high life and uh, think about that. Well, I did have to resort to looking up synonyms of cruel. I saw barbaric and I thought, well, maybe I can rework it. But no, I'm very, fairly sure of inner. Uh, so then I saw the adverb, bitingly. And so the definition is actually in a way that's cruel would be bitingly. And tickling is uh, tingly. <laughs> there we go. I like that by tingly. All right. Uh, so this now must be get or got. Put on tie. Of course, put is uh, could be both present or past. Uh, no, and our forever now for walks. 
No, I'm not saying it. All right. One's naked, essentially, wearing short, revealing piece. Uh, this is another word we've um, had in the crossword before. Otherwise, I wouldn't think of it. I try not to think of it. A mankini. But how does the word play? Um, I think it must be mankini. One's naked, essentially wearing short. Yeah, I'm not. Um, so I think maybe some word is shortened. Or it's wearing around it is something for short. One's naked. No, I mean, maybe it's wrong, but, uh, yeah, uh, how about my small footwear? They might be hurting. No, no. How about go back and watch the fifth dancer? <laughs> no, I'm, uh... Go back and... Could it be the fifth letter of watch? Or the fifth letter of the alphabet? No, I don't see it. Uh, failing courses with English. Uh, well, English is so often abbreviated to E... I'm thinking it's going to be something for courses and it's going to mean the whole word will mean failing. Uh, so uh, I paused there and was thinking about it and I thought maybe uh, I, it's a failing as a noun. If somebody has a failing, maybe they have a lapse and the courses are L-A-P-S, laps. Not 100% sure of that, but uh, we'll see if the P gets confirmed. All right, McDonald's to take one order for consumers naturally. Oh, well, I'm wondering if for consumers naturally might be free range. But I don't see how the wordplay would work. And of course, with McDonald's, it might be something like fast food. Let me put in free range and uh, see if I can make any sense of it. McDonald's, of course, could have nothing to do with the uh, hamburger sellers. Uh, McDonald's. I'm wondering if to take one is meant to mean as an example. Order for consumers. No, I'm going to leave it in, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's some other type of natural food. Uh, no. Plants bordering new gardens, these might come out for purchase in winter. Uh, so I'm thinking the second half is the, the definition, but it's not a straightforward definition because the question mark is telling us there's a little bit of uh, wordplay going on. And purchase can mean getting a grip. So I'm thinking it's going to be something like snowshoes. So these might come out for getting better uh, grip when you're walking in the snow. And then the wordplay is going to be plants bordering new gardens. Well, I mean, oh, of course, it could be snow uh, tires. Ah, why do I keep wanting to type a, a W there? Snowshoes. Um, 
plants bordering well new i think is going to be the n and then gardens uh, yeah, i don't see that oh i think you know actually it is sows is plants bordering n and then if you garden maybe you're hoeing so yeah i think that is right all right uh staying one's pants touring india again pants is one of those words that i've now finally learned might indicate an anagram and it comes about because pants is slang in britain for rubbish so are we going to anagram o-n-e-s and put an i for india somewhere inside it and it's going to maybe be a stain as in a color not sepia but something like that i'm just not seeing i'm going to pause and doodle on some paper with that well there is an obvious anagram of noise but i don't know how noise could possibly mean stain so i'm going to be yeah especially with uh walks i don't think is going to end in an i i think the s must be there is a uh, nosy a word uh i've never heard of it otherwise in so no no i don't see it yeah i think i'll get rid of those letters just in case they throw me off all right how about a paper exercise around large case study um exercise is often ep i'm oh, sorry pe i turned it around in my head so pe but if it's turned around becomes ep and i wonder if it could be then the paper is the I. We've seen that a lot. Exercise around large and case and then study, episode, epistle. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is going to be. yeah i'm gonna leave it there for now uh disgusted to live with duke where one lies poorly uh i'm thinking the first part is wordplay and again we have a definition that's being a little misleading where one lies poorly and it's not going to be lying down it's going to be where you tell lies poorly oh no or it could be where you lie down while you're poorly or sick so not hospital is eight where one lies um hospice maybe uh i'm thinking there's going to be a d in it for duke Oh, and in fact, to live is to, ah, yes, of course, where you lie down when you're sick is your sick bed. So sick is disgusted, to live is to be, and Duke is D. All righty, I got there eventually. Uh, informal situation of party, up for it. Uh, yeah, again, I'm wondering if this is going to be a cryptic definition plus some wordplay but up for it i'm wondering if there's going to be a reversal but party is usually a do no no don't see it 
uh, turn on TV mostly after current talk. Um, TV could be a set, but mostly might be we just have the SE. And current can be I, I think, in electrical notation. And then is it going to mean talk or turn on? No, I may as well do the last across. Bit tired. Some kids doze, ultimately getting off with these. <laughs> okay. Um, bit tired. Yeah, I'm thinking there has to be some maybe anagramming going on. Some of these words are very... Um, just odd words that are just probably providing letters, but I don't see a, an anagram indicator unless maybe tired is an anagram indicator. Oh, of course, some might be telling us it's a hidden clue, but that seems unlikely with those letters. Doze, ultimately, I think it's going to end in an E, and I think it's going to mean getting off with these question marks. So it's probably, well, actually, now I'm thinking it's going to be a plural answer. Yeah, I'm uh, confused by that one. Let's go back to the downs. Uh, stay with a swinger, maybe, and reproduce. All right, Trump is being a little uh, close to the bone today. Uh, let's see, and reproduce. I think that's going to be the definition. Stay, of course, isn't just the verb to remain. It could be a uh, wooden stay, a, a prop, maybe. Um, and a swinger, I think, might be... Is it something in cricket, a type of uh, way the ball is thrown, an in-swinger, or maybe, a swinger maybe. Uh, so what's another word for reproduce, possibly beginning with prop? Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, okay. How about soccer ground, hosting final, getting louder and louder? Oh, well, louder in uh, music is P or PP. Um, I'm wondering if the definition is going to be one of those louders, but there might actually be a P or two P's inside it. That, but the C makes it a little tricky to put a P in there. And what's a soccer ground? Ground, of course, can be an anagram. A hosting, might be we put one word inside another. Uh, no, don't see it. Concerned with, oh, well, if I didn't have any letters, I would think it might begin with R-E. But I'm thinking, since we have the O, it's going to be on with royal mail covering area. So we're going to have maybe R-M going around a word for area. Or maybe um, royal mail, we may have to use some more letters to cover simply an A uh, for delivery. What is delivery beginning with on? No. Oh, of course, uh, they talk about the delivery in cricket as well. Yeah, not getting it. Oh, yeah, so maybe it is an area... Uh, no, forget that. All right, security on the borders checks procedures. 
Well, is it going to be procedures which could be medical? What is security? I do want immediately think of the borders of some word, the outer letters, but, um, oh, yeah, it is actually that. So security on the borders is all just to give us the S and the Y. And if you check maybe the onrush of something, you stem it. And systems, I suppose, could be thought of as procedures. All right, conspiracy surrounding international leader. Uh, I think it's going to be maybe a four-letter word for a conspiracy going around an I for international. And it's going to, is it going to be the name of a leader or just a type of leader? Uh, I don't see it. I love British flipping pancakes. All right, I think that might be, uh, well, blini type of pancakes. And uh, I was trying to work out, well, where is the L-I-N? So we're going to flip the whole thing. It's I nil, nil for zero, the same as love in tennis, and then B for British. All right, well, I had that great start, but uh, it has been slim pickings since then. But let me go back now. Uh, actually, let's try the small footwear. All right, let me uh, sip my fizzy water and think about that. Ah, well, the footwear, I think, must be trainers. And so... They might be hurting is the definition for strainers. I presume they mean as in people who strain a muscle are straining as in, you know, weightlifting or something. But it's a funny definition. Uh, yeah, I think Trump is giving at least some of them have a question mark to indicate we have to proceed with caution. But that one, I think, could maybe... Could have done with a uh, question mark. All right, the top left is done. Now our put on, put on, tie, not wanting ultimately. Uh, maybe it's to go out, get, get free, get, yeah, I don't see it. All right, surely this one I can get forever. No, I think it must be walks. Again, I'm going to think about that. All right, well, I uh, remembered, of course, that free range I was not sure of. I shouldn't have left it in there. Um, and so then I was thinking about, well, forever could be always. Um, and so... I thought, oh, alleyways might be walks, as in places you can walk. And so L-E-Y, I had to look up. I think it's similar to L-E-A, probably from the same root, but it is a uh, grass or meadowland. So there we go. That was a tricky one. All right, back to the drawing board on our McDonald's for consumers naturally no not seeing it uh, i do like now we have a y here go back and watch the fifth dancer yeah i'm not uh seeing that one either uh i think i'm gonna have to use wordplays.com for this put in the r and the y and see what seven letter words match that well, there are a lot of words that match, but one caught my eye was uh, Nureyev, the uh, ballet dancer. And uh, so the definition then would be dancer. And I think the V must be the fifth. And then to go back, 
I think to go maybe is to run and that is backwards. And then to eye something is to watch it. It seems a little loosey goosey to me, but uh, I'm sure it's perfectly acceptable and uh, <laughs> I am the problem. All right, uh, put on tie then. Not wanting ultimately to go out. Is it something about a knot? I'll let you tie in the tie. Get knit. I don't know. Oh dear. All right, let's try our DJ. Is one equalizing deck. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Uh, not sure what that is. Okay, it's not going to be a judge anyway. Is one equal? Could it be a deck of some kind? As in a, a patio type deck? I'm thinking the first word might begin with over, or it could be ever, or it could be average. Average something. No, not seeing it. Uh, let's see. Here was our stay with a swinger, maybe. I think I'm going to look up synonyms for reproduce. Oh, of course, it could be just simply to make a copy of something. But let's see. Ah, so the I was throwing me off. I really shouldn't write in those letters. I'm not sure about, but it's uh, propagate. So stay was indeed a prop. A is A and a swinger maybe is a gate because it might swing open, I suppose. That's a little loose, but that's why they have the maybe. All right. So could it be EPA? Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that now. That doesn't look like a, a good start to a word in English. I can't think of any EPAs. I'm sure there are many. But exercise around large case and study. Yeah, don't see it. Did propagate give us anything else useful? No, not really. Our informal situation of party up for it. Something late or... Uh... No, no. Didn't get anything else there. Here's our bit tired. Some kids doze. Ultimately, oh... Funnily enough, I don't know why I looked at those letters and I thought of bedroom slippers. Because maybe with the wordplay, it definitely suggests going to bed. Ultimately, like the last thing you do before you get in bed, maybe is take off your... I have no idea how the wordplay... Oh, it's but it would only be one slipper... Yeah, I'm, yeah, now I'm not so sure. I'm going to use the check this button. No, oh, but it is bed something. Oh, how about uh, bedtime stories? Which would help the kids get off to sleep. So I think this might be an and lit in some way, or at least partially. Um... Yeah, a bit tired some. Yeah, but, um, yeah, oh. I'm not exactly sure how the wordplay is working. Maybe kids is the anagram indicator. Uh, because I think we do have bit tired some. 
Yeah, I'm, uh, I'll wait for 15 squared to uh, fully explain that one to us. All right, uh, it gives us a nice, if it is, oh yeah, let me go ahead and use the check this button. It is correct. And that gives us a nice, oh, maybe, oh, maybe it is a soccer grant. No, maybe it's a musical term, a crescendo, getting louder and louder. So what's our soccer ground Oh, it's a, it is a, ground is an anagram indicator of soccer, which is anagrammed and hosts the end, which is final. And the definition is getting louder and louder. That's clever. All right, so now our McDonald's is, uh, it might be still be free something or fast something. McDonald's. No, no, don't see it. How about my DJ? Is one equalizing deck? Oh, I, yeah, I'm just picturing somebody shuffling a deck of cards. Would you say they were equalizing the deck? I don't think so. Yeah, all right. Ooh, uh, 26 now begins with an N. Turn on TV mostly after current talk. Oh, there can't be too many five-letter words like that, so let me pause and run through the, the vowels that might go in there. Ah, well, the word noise fits. Funny, I was thinking of it earlier for a 20 across um but i think it might be to turn the word on you get no and then tv i think i did say earlier might be set and sure enough it is mostly se which comes after the i for current oh of course a dj is a dinner jacket and so it's going to be some kind of formal dress maybe is one equalizing deck? <laughs> no, but what is... Um, oh, evening dress, I think. Yes. Oh, so equalizing is evening. Oh, and I think um, deck is a slang term for dress, as in he was decked out in his finest. Yeah, I think that's how that's being used. All right. So then I think this must be either E-I-S-O-N or E-O-S-I-N. Yeah, um, if it wasn't, yeah, let me check crescendo. I think it must be right, but I would like if it was an R for rosin would be a stain. No, I am going to go with E-O-S-I-N just because of that S-I-N ending. Let's check it. It is right. I made the right 50-50 call for once. All right. Oh, uh, this must be a something. Oh, the food chain. Ah. Yeah, so I think it is McDonald's as an example. And... Uh, the order in which things are eaten, I suppose, <laughs> would be the food chain. I like it. All right, let's uh, try and finish the top part. Uh, so it must be uh, to put on some clothes, I suppose, would be to get into. Let's see, tie, not wanting ultimately to go. Oh, I think it's a T-I-E, but without its last letter, not wanting its ultimate one. Plus, to go, I <laughs> know I'm, 
Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I think I'm going to have to look at uh, 15 squared to understand that. Let's just check it. It is right. All right, just the bottom left corner now. Oh, I do see we have an M at the end, which I think is going to be for the Royal Mail. So concerned with... Oh, I wonder if that with might be a W, but I think it's just going to be on. But then Royal Mail covering area for delivery... Oh, what is that going to be ending in M? Yeah, I'm going to pause again. Well, I couldn't find any single words that fit that pattern on wordplays.com, which makes me feel a little better. Uh, so then when I removed that, I did see overarm. So it is indeed to do with delivery of a cricket ball. One way of bowling, I suppose, is overarm. I think that's the only way that's used at the professional level. I know as children we used to play rounders, and sometimes we even played cricket, and uh, it took us a long time to get into bowling overarm. In fact, I don't think I ever really uh, got it without dislocating my shoulder. Anyway, um, so concerned with is over. Huh. I'm not sure I've seen over as uh, meaning concerned. But the RM is the Royal Mail, and we have the area in between over and Royal Mail. All right, didn't give us very good letters, unfortunately. But now our paper... Oh, study, I think, must be the definition, and it would be examine. And I think um, a paper is an exam. Exercise around large. Oh, yeah, so I may be wrong. Let's uh, check this. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, maybe it's a case study. Oh, yes. So I should have remembered my PE exercise goes around L for large, and a case study is the definition, which is an example. So uh, that makes sense. Now, at least we get a... Oh, of course, a um, conspiracy is a plot surrounding... The Ivor International is a pilot. I'm not sure I would think of pilot as a leader. Or, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Let's check it. It is right. But we'll uh, look at 15 squared to see in what sense is a pilot a leader. All right, final one. Informal situation of party up for it. Um, fail safe. No. Um, ball. Ball game, maybe? Up for it. Just think a party could be a ball, but... Yeah, I'm going to put it in and uh, take my chances. Let's check it. It is correct. That uh, amazes me. So, uh, all right, let me check all and then we'll head over to 15 squared. Everything is still there. All right. Uh, the blog today is by Eileen. She's always pleased to see Tramp's name on a puzzle. Uh, she found it a, f a friendly grid, yes, definitely having those was very nice. Uh, so the ones I wasn't sure about, I think I got most of the acrosses until we... Oh yeah, I'm glad she says eosin is a new word for her. I presume that leads to a definition. 
so 25 there, the ball game. We need to take informal as applied to the definition. Collins has, for example, or has for ball game informal a situation or a state of affairs. Ah, yeah, so a party is a ball, and if you're up for it, you're a game. I should have uh, made that connection. All right. Uh, and then 27, an anagram of bit tired sum S plus E. Kids doze ultimately. All right. Yeah. Um, and so getting off, she thinks, is the anagram indicator, and she could be right. On the downs, uh, yeah. Oh, it's an anagram of tie knot. With the G, of course, I needed uh, from wanting. All right. And then I think, oh, yeah, there's lay arable land put down to grass. Uh, 22, she just says leaders, pilot. Maybe it's pilot as in um, the older, you know, the, the pilot in a harbor, I think, leads maybe a boat to its dock or leads it out to sea again uh, drop the pilot uh, Joan Armitrading uh, alright the comments wasn't convinced by they might be hurting for strainers I definitely agree with that uh, so yeah definitely easier than Monday and Tuesday not as easy as yesterday's but uh Good fun, and it's always a, a great treat when you finally the penny drops and you work out the uh, the answer. All right, well, thank you as always for watching, and have a great day.